there guys, welcome back to another uh, Python tutorial. So in this Python tutorial, uh, we're going to be going over something that we've kind of used in other videos, kind of haven't, um, being text. Uh, so we're going to make our own flashing text, uh, so just something on the screen that just changes colour. Um, I'm going to show you how to make it in two colours, and then I'm going to show you a way that possibly, I'm not actually sure, I haven't tested this yet, so this is going to be the first time I'm actually live coding, uh, well, not live coding because it's recorded, but first time I'm making a code on video that I haven't tested before, um, or already written and are rewriting. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. Um, now, I always use the same text for the, uh, the starting of these videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this code in. I'm going to put in the uh, description as it's not actually that important to know it. Um, and so I can avoid showing you all that and just get on to the actual useful coding. Um, so to begin with, we're just going to go ahead and define the function text objects. Um, now, if you've watched my... Um, if you've watched my video on creating buttons, then you'll already have written this code, and so either go watch that, um, I can probably link it as a card above me, or just watch ahead and we'll go through it anyway. So we're going to define text, colour, and size going into it. Um, those are going to be the variables that are being passed in, and that's going to be what they're assigned to when they get in there. Now, I'm going to write an if statement. Uh, for this, we actually only need super large, which is this text font here, um, and so we're going to avoid doing the other ones. Um, but just to show you what the what the, what the code will look like for that, um, it looks like this. If you want to, hold on, let me just go down. There we go. So it looks like that. If you want to pause now and write that all out, um, that will just make it easier to redefine the size you want to use. Um, obviously, I've predetermined the sizes up here um, and the font. Um, so, yeah. But we're going to go back to the if statement. And we're going to go size is equal to super uh, large. Um, we may as well do another sizing too. Um, just to show you what it means. Uh, so we're going to go text, sur uh, text surface equals, is that right? Yeah. Hold oh, no, on, we need, uh, actually we need capital for the surface. Surface. Okay. So now we want to go equals text dot, uh, text font dot render text uh, true and color. So now uh, when we pass into uh, the render function, we're passing in the text that we're rendering, uh, the value and or our value, either true or false, um, and then color. Uh, we don't actually want to capital on that, as that doesn't pass in right. Um, okay, so now that we've done that, uh, we can go ahead and define another size, even though it's not going to be used for anything. So we'll just go uh, large. I uh, assume that's, yeah, that's, that's right, yeah. Uh, I actually have something in my eye. Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. Um, so, to carry on from there, we just, we, we just go use the same here. Um, actually, I did that wrong. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> uh, that was horrible. Uh, so we want to go <laughs> super large font. So that's calling um, this variable here into it. And so this one here is going to be large font. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're going to move on now uh, to the next function, which is going to be define uh, message uh, underscore to screen. <laughs> I can't believe I did that mistake. Um, okay. So for this, we're going to pass in mes message, uh, we're going to pass in color, and we're going to pass in uh, x displace, x underscore displace, equal to zero. Uh, that's just going to set it, if there's no value passed in for x displace, it's just going to set it to the top, um, the top of the screen on zero pixels, zero pixels. 
Like, obviously, you know when text is put into something, it's... Um, uh, actually, hold on, I'll just get a diagram. Alright, so, <laughs> as we can see here, um, when a text is taken onto a screen, it is taken from the top corner of the box that is surrounding said text. And so, setting it to Y display 0, X display 0, so on, will set this position here, this top um, of, the co of the square, uh, equal to the top of the screen. Um, so that's why we set the default value to zero. Um, otherwise, you can obviously change it and set the uh, X and Y displays anywhere on the screen you want uh, equal to zero as well. Um, so we're going to do that. Now we want to go size. Um, now size we can set it equal to small, but there is no small, so we'll just have size because we know that we're going to be passing something into it which is super large. Um, so we don't really need to go ahead and do that part of the video. Um, if I just add some more lines here so we can keep scrolling. <laughs> um, so now we want to go text surf text uh, rect and then we want to go text underscore object and we'll just put in that and now we want to go message we want to go color and we want to go size so now this is going to get those text um, send off the message the color and the size to um, to the text objects function which is this one here um, and then it's going to send the text and the color off to the render uh, function um, or message in whatever you know what I mean so this 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 these three variables get passed into this and as these three variables and then sent off um, I'm sure most people probably know that if they're watching this sort of video um, so next we're going to go text rect uh, equals x underscore displace dis oh, displace and y underscore displace um, next we're going to blit it to the screen so screen uh, screen dot blit uh, text surf and uh, and text rect. Um, okay, so define menu. So this is going to be the main loop now. Uh, we're moving into um, programming in this for running through the chain, making it flash. Uh, so it repeats the same code over and over again. Now for this, we're going to go count equals zero. So that's how we're going to. Sorry about that. <laughs> So this is how we're going to decide whether it's changing color or not. Um, colors um, equal uh, white we're going to have and green as we're going to be having the background is black um, and everything in front of that is going to um, be one of those two, two colors obviously. Um, okay, so now we're going to go menu underscore because we can't have it set as a function name um, and we're going to go equal to true so now that's going to run through the while loop that we're about to write so while menu um, we can go for event in pygame dot event dot get so this is getting all the movements around the screen that your mouse is doing, sort of. Um, so if you click on the, this is going to be to, for clicking on the X button on the top corner so we can close out of it without it not responding or not working. Uh, obviously you have to program in that top X button. Um, to enter you don't, but uh, this you do. Um, so we're going to go ahead and write this. Event.type equal to pygame. Oh, pygame.quit 
Ah, uh, sorry, that's that's in capitals. Um, and then we're gonna go uh, pi game dot quit and then quit. So that's just going to mean that the button up in the top corner, the, the, the red X, uh, works when you click it. Um, and yeah. So next we're going to go ahead and we're going to backspace till it's on the four, outside of the for loop. Uh, still inside the while loop of course. Screen, oops, screen dot fill black. So this is going to create a black background that resets every time. Um, I don't think it's actually that necessary to program this in because the screen is actually black anyway, but it wipes the slate clean every time you add a new word, um, although we're pasting the same words exactly over the top of the other ones. So it's not as necessary. You could actually make this code so that it, um, so that it has multiple text flashing around all different. Um, I may do a video on that later if you guys want it, uh, do say in the comments if you do, because um, that will mean that I will be able to provide that for you. So I'm going to go count plus equals one, so this is going to increase the count by one every time, obviously um, that doesn't help too much because it just then gets a really high number, but for this uh, it works. Um, there could be better ways to do it, so we're going to go message to screen, now we're going to put a message in. The message is just going to be the standard program is hello world, um, as that's what everyone uses and that's what I'm going to use now. So now we're going to put in for the color, colors, and we're going to use the square brackets for the list number, and we're going to go bracket count, and we're going to use the modulus, so modulus of 2, which means any number that is divided by, wait, <laughs> any number that is a multiple of two and is it means it's equal to zero any number that isn't um, wait no any number that is a modulus of two is one i think and any number that isn't a modulus of two is zero something like that it's one of those two i can't quite remember which one it, which way which way it works but this will work for getting those two numbers to interchange um yeah now we just want to set the positioning of them so 20 and 20 and 90 uh, as we want to move it down otherwise it's right pushed up by the top um, so we don't really want that and we want in bracket uh, parentheses super large all right we also want to go pi game dot display dot update with parentheses and this is going to post everything to the screen and display it otherwise we would just have a black screen and it wouldn't ever post anything it wouldn't fill it it wouldn't put the message to the screen it wouldn't do any of that and now we're going to go clock dot tick fps which is obviously if you watched my button video you would know that that's this value here which i have actually changed in this video to be a bit less so that the flashing isn't as fast um i can actually show you how that works sort of I'm going to show you the reason we put that in um, at the end. So pygame.quit, this just aborts everything if nothing works, and quit. Now we call the menu function. Alright, so now if we go ahead and run this, um, run it, uh, hold on, I forgot this here. By the, That was a while loop by the way. Oh, and I also forgot... Define. Oh, I forgot one other thing. <laughs> In here, I forgot to uh, return text surface and text surface dot get underscore ret. Right. Oh god, uh, um, what have I done? Hold on, one second. Okay, so I realized that size equals large has to be, or something has to be there as the default value for that. Um, now, I also realize that in here I have not written blit, 
I will not read out the word that I did write, uh, but I've not written blit. So now that's not drawing anything, that wasn't drawing anything to the screen, or seeing anything to be drawn to the screen. So here you, can, here you go, you can see now that it's hello world, it's flashing uh, at a reasonable rate. Now if we wanted to change, we wanted to change the speed of that flashing, we would go and change this to say 50, which would probably give you epilepsy if you have epilepsy. Uh, you'd see it changes extremely fast and it doesn't look very nice. Now you could also do say uh, two frames per second which would slow it down a little bit. Um, you'll see it's quite a slow pace now or if you of course wanted to go even slower you do one frame per second which is very slow as you can see very slow. Now that'll do it for this video um, I will go ahead and make another video after this try to make three colors uh, which will be me coding uh, completely offhand um, so that will be using no um, no no help from a uh, from me pre-coding so yeah stay tuned for that guys and I'll hope to see you next time <laughs> bye bye all right hello there guys um, you've obviously made it to the end of the video uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least so if you could consider subscribing that would be a great help to my channel um, if you have any suggestions for future videos make sure to drop them in the comments below um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making um, and yeah hope to see you in the next video